Hi, uh, today I'm explaining about the new uh, software, new program, uh, Adobe Illustrator CC. Okay, uh, here I'm using uh, 2018 version. Okay, uh, but the latest version is 2020. Okay, uh, there is a very little uh, difference. Uh, that's the new tools and new things I'll explain uh, later. So, but uh, most of the things, uh, most of the um, uh, software covering the same okay yes uh, today I'll explain about uh, introduction uh, Adobe Illustrator and uh, interface <coughs> okay yes mm, this is Adobe Illustrator uh, the same like uh, Adobe family only <coughs> it's a part of uh, Adobe family so Adobe Photoshop and Adobe uh, Illustrator okay um, the difference <coughs> the big difference between these two programs are um, Photoshop is a uh, raster based program it can pixelate in uh, Photoshop uh, can perform can work purely it depends on the resolution okay but illustrator <coughs> resolution independent okay you can uh, uh, work a small size and you can print into a large scale also okay uh, so I'll explain <coughs> about uh, raster and uh, vector okay uh, first see this is the front phase first phase okay start phase of the illustrator <coughs> okay here see there is a recent files okay and create new and open and create new okay and uh, here uh, suppose if you have any recent files work files so directly you can open from there and create new you can uh, create and open your uh, files you can open here okay uh, suppose this is a simple the start page so suppose here I'm uh, giving the create new okay in this tab uh, see that recent to saved mobile web print a film and video art and illustrations so these are the uh, uh, different uh, uh, <coughs> templates so these are you can default uh, templates so if you click on that so you will get those options okay so for mobile so uh, for web uses also we work with uh, illustrator and for printing mostly for the commercial printing we use uh, okay and some uh, sometimes we work with uh, film and video settings we use and for art and illustrations for vector art we can use this okay there here uh, for time being I'll click on the uh, printer okay in print again we have letter size a4 size legal size tabloid a3 uh, suppose uh, the B4, B5 size are there. So I'm taking the A4. Okay, and here uh, there's the settings of the A4. Okay, so here we can uh, give any uh, file uh, name. Okay, uh, now it is coming with uh, untitled uh, two, and uh, here uh, the width. Uh, so suppose it is in points, uh, picas, inches, millimeters, centimeters, and pixels. Uh, okay. So uh, we know that inches and uh, uh, centimeters very well. Okay, we use this. Uh, that are the uh, settings are the European uh, standards they use. Okay, so uh, I'm going to on click on inches. So A4 means here uh, 8.268 inches by 11.693. Okay, here is the orientation. The page the A4 says whether you want a uh, vertical or uh, horizontal okay so for the time being I'm taking vertical only here see the artboards here artboard is nothing but a pace so page one page two page three page so multiple pages many pages you can create here for the time being I'm using this one only and here the bleed so I'll explain about a bleed when we design uh, for a print and all I'll explain okay yes here in more settings CMYK color mode and uh, RGB okay so uh, we clicked on the printer so default it is taking 
CMYK color and the resolution because of the print to automatically it is taking 300 uh, PPI so a picture per inch okay now uh, here the preview mode the default pixel and or print to I'm taking the default uh, okay and uh, now uh, create document yes this is uh, my document okay yeah this is my document size so this is my uh, art border and this is what uh, uh, your uh, actual the, the board actual board means uh, your uh, the original uh, drawing board type okay so over on that we are using this uh, art board okay right and suppose uh, suppose here open desktop and here I'm taking one picture so I'm taking one picture here okay all right see this uh, this is uh, raster and this is vector so I'm explaining about a uh, raster and uh, uh, vector uh, program <coughs> yeah suppose when you zoom it uh, in Photoshop a real estate uh, suppose when you zoom your picture center it can pixelate because you are zooming into more than your actual resolution so that is called uh, a raster okay raster based uh, image and suppose in illustrator or coral Ra, or flash and any other uh, vector based programs you can draw with the drawing tools okay so define the shapes and curves defined by the shapes and curves by the drawing tools okay so with this you can zoom it in any size uh, without uh, losing quality you will get the uh, clarity quality in image okay so that is our uh, vector and uh, uh, raster program <coughs> okay now just I'm using deleting this yeah here uh, this is my um, interface so interface suppose in interface here we have all the tools who different tools the so left side corner displaying all the tools and here these are the uh, menu bars okay menu bars so file edit object type select effect view window and help is that okay that just below that uh, we have uh, uh, options so you can click on each tool so related uh, options so uh, will display here okay so these are the options uh, bar okay So each tool options uh, you can display here. Okay. So uh, these are uh, the right side. Uh, other panels are uh, displaying here. Okay. So if you check one by one, this is a uh, uh, color uh, palette, uh, and here this is a <coughs> color guide. You can just switch on that. Okay. Now you will understand. Uh, suppose, and you can minimize and here these are the swatches and uh, these are the brushes okay so brushes panels uh, and here these are the uh, symbols uh, so symbol panels uh, okay so <coughs> these are gradient panels uh, so gradient colors we get and here uh, it is appearance uh, so appearance panel okay and here it is uh, the graphic styles uh, so graphic style panels can display here <coughs> and here layers about layers so like uh, Photoshop uh, here also we have layers so okay so about layers so this can display and here it is a asset export so you can export your assets okay here in this panel and here we have <coughs> art border this art board means uh, this paper sizes okay you can uh, create and delete uh, okay uh, and here uh, there are uh, settings are there okay so libraries 
and here we have settings so for the <coughs> each tool when you click on any tool uh, you will get uh, the particular uh, settings of that tool okay mm, and here uh, the classic uh, essential uh, modes here okay so you can click on this here automation essentials essential classic layout painting printing and proofing tracing typography web okay so uh, different people they choose their uh, work areas so for web designers they use their area suppose if you click on that here the panels uh, they are changing into uh, their uh, website and here the typography the changing the text related suppose all the text related uh, uh, panels in displaying okay they use their uh, uh, for their practice and for the tracing and suppose painting I'll click uh, uh, you can <coughs> paint it in you know, illustrator vector painting uh, we can use uh, for that the options and the settings and properties displaying here uh, in uh, for the uh, painting purpose so here I use uh, essentials classic in the classic mode generally you can display uh, the necessary tools okay the useful tools the so general uh, options can display here okay, <coughs> okay. And now um, suppose here uh, we have a tools here uh, suppose uh, briefly uh, I'll check what is uh, <coughs> all these what are the tools here okay suppose here uh, I'm taking the rectangle tool okay In the rectangle tool suppose I'm using one rectangle here okay and suppose if you check here here there is a, a fill color and here it is a stroke color okay the fill is white uh, with white there is a fill so instead of white I'm giving some orange color okay yeah here uh, outline is uh, empty so I'm giving black okay so this is yeah here uh, this is one box so suppose if you uh, check here you can zoom it here now we'll understand the and the shape of okay and uh, uh, you can more zoom it is not showing any uh, pixel so so this is called a uh, vector shape vector drawing okay so this you can zoom it to uh, any size okay so in printer in printing it cannot be a uh, lossy okay <coughs> right so this is a uh, yeah the difference uh, between uh, photoshop and uh, illustrator suppose if you uh, zoom any uh, pictures like uh, if you take any uh, picture from here take reference images yeah if you see this see it is pixelating so the reason is uh, we are uh, zooming enlarging this picture into more than the actual resolution so that is the reason it is breaking into pixels but here this case even you can uh, zoom it any size we are not losing anything right so that is a raster and vector you can see already I created one two three documents here you can work with the uh, multiple documents suppose here uh, like in Photoshop here we have a tiles float in window float in all windows suppose here if you click there <coughs> okay uh, <coughs> you 
it is uh, floating in windows and suppose consolidate all two windows okay it is consolidated uh, one by one so sometimes uh, you can copy this you can copy this and come here and you can uh, paste it so we use these documents uh, okay uh, from one document to and the document to we can copy and uh, paste it okay so <coughs> Yes, here I use two uh, documents, so one by one. No? So we can uh, get all the documents from one document to another document, to, and you can use it. Here. Okay. Anyway, so I'm, I'm deleting this. Okay. So. <coughs> Here in Illustrator, uh, the mostly Illustrator uh, uh, combining with the, all the drawing tools. Okay, so Illustrate uh, Photoshop is raster-based program. There, mostly we use uh, Photoshop for image editing. Image editing purpose generally we use. In Photoshop also, uh, we design, but mostly, most probably. For the quality printing and the large scale printing, for the uh, high uh, quality printing, generally we use Illustrator. Okay, Photoshop we use uh, mostly for the uh, image editing. So their filters so and uh, uh, blend modes, so blend shapes are there. Okay, so you can edit uh, your pictures and you can change the picture resolutions in Photoshop. And then you can import those uh, uh, photos into Illustrator, and and you can uh, use those uh, pictures in Illustrator and make a final design, and you can submit to uh, printer. Okay, so that is the reason in Illustrator mostly these are all the uh, drawing tools. Okay, so. In the next class, I'll explain one by one about our tools. So, just you can check. So, suppose this is a, a selection tool and it is indirect selection tool. Okay, so there, indirect selection tool again, it is a group selection tool. Okay, and here, if you see there, there is a magic man tool. Okay, you can find mostly most of the tools, most of the shortcuts uh, will come from uh, Photoshop only because Photoshop and Illustrator both are. Uh, Adobe family, so both coming from Adobe family, so all the shortcuts are coming. Okay, now <coughs> check this. Yes, magic band tool is there, and here there is a lasso tool, and again here the pen tool. In pen tool, we have uh, pen tool, add anchor pen tool, delete anchor pen tool, and anchor point. And <coughs> these are the things, and here again we have a curvature. And the type tool. In type tool, again, we have uh, uh, the different uh, uh, options are there. Okay, so type tool, area type tool, uh, type on a path tool, okay, vertical type tool, vertical area type tool, and uh, vertical type on a path tool, and uh, touch type tool. So these are the uh, text related. Okay, and here we have line segment tool and <coughs> Arc tool, spiral tool, and rectangle grid tool, and polar grid tool. Okay, and here, um, <coughs> rectangle tool, a rounded rectangle tool, ellipse tool, and polygon tool, and uh, star tool, and flare tool. You can use. In here, there again, um, the. Uh, Paint brush tool is there, and the second one is a um, blob brush tool. Okay, this we can use. And here, uh, the tools, other tools, the uh, sharper tool. Okay, and suppose pencil tool, a smooth tool, and path eraser tool, and joint tool. Okay, so these are here: mm, eraser tool, scissor tool, and knife tool. And here we have a. Uh, the other tools rotate rotate tool and reflect tool okay 
and here we have um, scale toll, shear toll, and reshape toll. Okay, and now here we have uh, the width toll, a wrap toll, and twill toll, a pucker toll, and blood toll, scalp toll, and crystallized toll, and a wrinkle toll. Okay, and suppose here we have a puppet wrap toll. Okay, that we can can explain this okay and the shape builder tool a live paint bucket tool and live paint selection tool okay we have in this category and here we have a perspective tool so I'll explain about our perspective okay so now here <coughs> the mesh tool okay so mesh can create a and here the gradient uh, color tool so instead of uh, one color filling you can uh, combine two three colors and you can fill here and here I drop a tool and measure tool okay so here it is a, a blend tool you can blend one two objects each other and you can create uh, effects here you have a, a symbol uh, sprayer tool and a symbol shifter tool symbol scruncher tool symbol sizer tool symbol spinner to symbol strainer to symbol screener to a symbol strainer to okay so these are the other tools and here we have a column graph tool okay so stack column graph tool and the bar graphic tool stack a bar graph tool line graphic tool area graphic tool scatter graphic tool and pi tool and other graph tool and here we have a <coughs> artboard tool so artboards you can create as many as and you can delete also and here we have a slice tool so slice selection tool so these are other tools and the hand tool and print uh, uh, tiling tool this is a zoom tool and this is a fill color and this is a stroke color okay and here it is a default fill and stroke it changes into black and white so color and the gradient and none here it is a draw normal okay so normally you can draw and here draw behind uh, you can behind you draw and uh, draw inside uh, okay so these are the change uh, screen modes uh, so screen modes you can change <coughs> okay so uh, I'll explain all these things one by one so neatly you can learn all these things generally in illustrator what type of work we do the question if it is the question we use for the uh, vector shapes vector designs for any commercial designs uh, large scale uh, for printing quality printing if you are expecting okay uh, we use these things suppose for the t-shirt design and uh, the big banners the big uh, uh, the holdings okay and uh, the quality uh, brochures okay posters and logos particularly we use this program for creating logos this is very very important why because <coughs> logos must be in vector okay because if you uh, design your logo in Photoshop what will happen uh, it is purely depends on the resolution of the uh, design the same design if you want to print it uh, for uh, holding for holding uses if you use the same then you can zoom it and uh, you can scale it uh, for that size you may lose your quality of the uh, logo so that is the reason uh, to uh, to avoid the uh, the lossiness so we use a uh, illustrator program so illustrator you can scale it any size and still it's maintain the same okay so for the t-shirt design and for any kind of commercial design and quality uh, design we use this illustrator okay so other things uh, about uh, tools and other things I'll explain slowly one by one okay just you can install uh, illustrator program okay and uh, you can follow all my uh, assignments so you'll understand easily okay thank you